breakfast and we see F spots and Stradman's car, so park in front of it. Maybe I'll bump into them. But yeah, the six wheel Jeep in purple. I know. White wheels. But then I gotta hear this thing. I gotta ask Gordon to uh that's fucked. This is I love this thing man. This is so loud. It's on the engine the crazy exhaust. <laughs> yes. It's the head test. So oh, C63 Black Series. Oh, that's cool. Freestyle and Aventador. Fry Roma. Four for Ritz Fighter. Yeah. yeah, so pretty good lineup. We saw La Far and stuff yesterday. Today, TDF joined 720S, SF90, my TDF super nice. Then, on this side, we have a Quattro Valve Countach red car, gold wheels, very, very, very nice spec. TDS so is really really cool. We got some other cars here. Pretty cool. And very very cool details on this TDF. You got a lot of blue carbon, blue accents everywhere. Even these little vents are blue. Wheels are dark blue. Blue carbon door handles. Full looks like a tailor made interior. The big Ferrari shield. More blue carbon. Blue matching stripes. The spec is really, really, really cool. Okay, so we are at Mika Auction right now. We have a red 599 GTO. Next to a red. S.A. Aperta. Silver wheels, silver caliper, very nice bike. Let's see, what are these ones? 800,000, 900,000 is not bad for this car. Hi, Tony. painted roof is really really cool. I don't see any carbon in this car. This might be the first La Ferrari I've ever seen with no carbon. Damn, that's awesome. Some carbon in the interior but nothing on the outside. Three to three five. Yeah. Tungsten Gray 4 GT. I guess these ones are already sold. Very cool. Very nice stuff in this room. Cobra right here. White 19 white sack. Silver Prayer GT. 
and you probably just noticed is the Cobra Concept. Uh, it was from 2001 or something around then. 2004. Very, very, very cool. Expecting 1.5 to 2 million dollars. And a 275. So let's see what's here. First one, anniversary edition Sheer on. Come on, thing a 355, whatever. Oh, nice. Love Ferrari. And a Gera RS. Casual car week parking. The Veyron is, I mean, the Chiron's right over there. Love Ferrari right here. And a few spots over is a Koenigsegg. And then I believe that green Aventador SV is the last one ever made. Uh, and then there's a Aventador S, 720 or 765. Wait, is it 765 or 720? Whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, Koenigsegg. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So sick. Blue actually looks better on camera than it does in person. 4GT down there and stuff, yeah, we'll go check out the car a bit more close. So there is a purple Ferrari Pista here. But if you thought that was rare, that's nothing. Compared to a Beetle Turbo convertible with a manual. This is like a Honda Civic compared to that. That's properly rare. Just a, just a casual. Diablo GTR in a parking lot because car week. Got just a casual 4 GT silver orange accents, orange calipers, and I think it's got an orange interior. Yes, it does. Pretty cool. No carbon wheels, which I like better. So nice. So here is the best spot of the day most likely, 177, first like one outside of an auto show that I've ever seen, so rare, there's barely any of them in North America, it's more like a Dubai, London car, pretty cool. True. Nice. Bentley 48 and another Chiron. I think this is fourth today, probably fifth or sixth that I've seen this week. Google accents. And then down there, there's an Alpha 8 I don't know if you can see it from here. That's right there. The spider. Stir. 
Heritage Edition. Stuff, I guess I don't know honestly I've not had time too much, too much time to research about this pretty cool though we got the course port over there then we got we have a green 300 edition this is a top speed one very 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 cool color very nice wheels little kind of louvers over here so this has kind of more aero for top speed so you don't have a big spoiler or anything like that for downforce which is kind of designed to be slippery to hit 300 miles an hour and yeah man in green this thing looks looks crazy and then yeah the back of this car just looks insane i'm not sure if this is a production version yet but it, it looks incredible a nice blue kind of bronze accents here very very cool very cool that's work booth very cool stuff no it's it so we use um, awesome lightweight interior carbon wheels awesome shifter orange interior and then another one here it's a coupe yeah, man, this is so nice. Kind of like a singer for a 993. Very high quality cars. I don't think I've ever even seen one of these driving on the road anywhere. Not even a car week. Super cool. I guess it's P1 long tail's leaving. This is so cool. Man, too bad I got here kind of late. I really wanted to film this car a little more. It's a limited edition, if it's a new Aventador, like kind of what what the whole plan with this thing is. Hopefully we'll get to see it up close at some point, but yeah, it's pretty cool. This is really, really cool. I mean, the headlights and stuff look a lot like the old one, but I don't know, the body's not that similar to the Countach in my opinion. Uh, I like how they look uh, like a kind of glass roof. Oh. 
that look kind of glass roof. I think it's kind of to represent the Periscopia cars, the first Kuntashas that were made. The newer body, they had a little indent on the roof, so I think that's supposed to be kind of like it. Very, very, very cool. I think the white was the right, car, the right color to kind of show this car off for the first time. Can't wait to see some other specs, maybe some dark reds, gold wheels, kind of a classic Kuntar spec. Super cool. The interior is very similar to an Aventador. Power mirrors, very similar to Aventador wheels. Nice. The interior is kind of similar to Huracan Evo with the screen where you got the steering wheel and the center display of the Aventador. And honestly, the back looks a lot like the Seon, but you can tell slight differences. I think the middle there is kind of to represent the Periscopio Puntaches with the indent and the roof. You got your four exhausts right here kind of separated in the middle. It's LP800, so probably going to be around, look, it's usually these say 800, 790 horsepower, 791. Yeah, I couldn't really figure it. It's, just off of it. it's kind of cool. But this is definitely the car this year at Quail everybody's talking about. This is the star of the show. This is the car everybody really wanted to see. So yeah, I'm still not sure what they're doing with this car. If it's going to be like, uh, I don't know if they announced it yet and I just haven't seen it. But I don't know if it's going to be a limited production car like a 63 units or something like that. Or if this could be just the new event or replacement. I hope it's not a new event or replacement because you don't really want to you know, kind of use the name Kuntash too much. You want to keep it very limited because it's, you know, the most legendary name Lamborghini has. But let's see, I can't wait to see these things in different specs. This is super cool. It's nice to be up close to it kind of the day after it gets shown to the world online and the first time it gets shown in person. But yeah, it showed up with a really, really, really nice red interior. Glass panel on the roof. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go check out the rest of the show because I got here pretty late and I don't really want to miss anything. Yeah, maybe we'll see this thing driving, who knows. Here we go. Wire up BC and I believe this has like a Tempesta package. The editor's choice is awarded to the Octane editor of Field Carbon. captures the emotion, the passion, and the beauty of driving. A selection made purely from the heart. Oh, look at that. Presented today by this used to be a regular wire coupe. I guess they kind of took it. This is the made up in Pesto. Out of the wings and a roof scoop. Rock. This is so cool. I really like but how this turned out. Very, very, very nice. Very aggressive, but doesn't kind of get in the way of the BC. The Eden Rock debuted at the Paris Motor Show. And then you got this Roadster. And this BC Roadster. The lineup. We have first a Countach, then we have a Monterey Edition Blue Diablo SV, and then looks like another Monterey Edition Pink Diablo SV. So two Monterey Editions, two out of 30. So they kind of came all in different special colors. But these are the Monterey editions which come with gold wheels, slightly different interiors. So far, there are only two cars. And not gold, but chrome wheels, different interiors. Last year, like, our faces were like all the sense of Oh, yeah, that's really good. Thank you. Looks like a Diablo VT. And there's Stuart. So, this is the first time that this car has been shown. Aventador SV. Good choice. Roadster. Yeah, we took a team. 25th anniversary yeah, Kunta. Oh, this is cool. This is the new kind of 959. And they all felt that this is a car thing. So cool. cool. The press photos of this were insane in the desert, in the dunes, in the sand. And those are real pictures that were taken. That was not Photoshop. This thing sits so high off the ground. Oh, it's. Is it based off of manual? Yeah. No, it's an automatic, but I think it's based off a of GT3, I guess, maybe with DCs. I'm not too sure. This is so awesome. And we have a lineup there. We have a. Ooh, is that a Periscopia Kuntash? I think it is. We will check that out after. Well, P1s are always special cars and nice. Two very raw cars. We got first the European spec Ferrari F40. So we saw this car actually in uh, in Orange County Presented about a week ago, a few days ago. This is awarded to the And then this is a Pagani Zonda F V12. Like these Mr. things Alan are McGrary. very, very, very special. You, Thank you very rarely see these around. Only a select few of them in North America. 
only a hundred and something Zonda chassis ever made, I think 137. And this is kind of left in its original Zonda F configuration. It hasn't been 760. Very, very cool. Front wheel drive by cool Countach here. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. It's brown with kind of like a tan brown interior. But this one's periscopia. So what I was saying about the glass roof on the Countach is like the little indent here. That's how you can tell it's a periscopio. Narrow body. So this was the first cars, no flares, no wings. This is in the 70s, how the Countach was first created. It's a lot narrower, smaller wheels. Truly a specialty coach built. A lot cleaner look than the later cars, not as much going on. Congratulations. So these cars are the most viable, most rare Countaches. I mean, Periscopia Countach will run you between 800,000 to 2 million dollars. And then we have one of my favorite cars to drive. I mean, this thing is a piece of crap, doesn't work ever, but I'm in love with them. XJ220, this one's in a very nice dark blue. Have the high speed wheels, gray interior, very, very cool. Very cool 959. Thank you. It's got the fog lights that I've never seen before. Almost looks like a rally car. Yeah, the nice gray interior with the kind of different tone seats. Next one, very nice 300 SL Gullwing. It's got the lugger set as well. Burgundy color. Looks like it's never been restored. Very original condition. Very nice. Very, very nice. Carbon body, 4 GT. Very cool. I don't think I've ever seen a full carbon body. The only thing is the silver mirrors. But then this we saw yesterday, I had to edit it out of my video because of some problems with the clip. But it's like a Barquetta style AMG GTR. So it almost looks like a Sterling Moss. They have the thing running down the middle. And this is, was not done by Mercedes himself, but I heard the designer of the car overall was involved in the process. It's very cool to put the small windshield in there. Fun engine, like, you know, your typical Monza, Sterling Moss type, uh, type car. Here we have another Selena 7. I think we saw another two this whole trip, one more earlier today at, uh, I think it was at Mecham Auction. But very cool cars. These cars are huge, super long cars. I really like these things. You very, very, very rarely see them on the road. I've probably seen a total of five of these cars in my life. Honda Sandcast. Very cool. Why are BC Roadster in really yellow? Raised the trail and put Honda on the map in this country. This is arguably considered to be the first superbike ever built. The Honda 750s were iconic, they still are today. This is an incredible example. Bobby, thanks for bringing it. And so, here's the Yasco. This is the, I forgot what it's called, but it's I think 300, so, not 300, I don't know, but it's the one with no wing. Oh yeah, absolute, yeah. No wing, kind of more for top speed. Here's the Regera, like a full production example, customer car. Pretty cool, full carbon interior. Like, that, that's a lot of carbon. And a little bit of blue accents around the car, exterior and interior, carbon wheels too. So they got exterior, interior, and wheels, everything just carbon. Then last is this Gamera. I don't think this car works. We saw this car in Toronto about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Cool car. I don't know. I just don't think it looks as aggressive and as crazy as these other cars. I don't really see a market for, you know, someone spent $3 million on a four-seater car. People usually just spend that money once. Just, you know, a two-seater sports car, something very crazy, very aggressive. I don't know if there's going to really be a market for this. So I just realized I've never seen a Sion yet, which is kind of like the other version of this that came out like a year ago. So I actually saw the Countach before I saw the Sion. Kind of weird, but it's pretty cool. Oh, he just stalled it. Oh, is it not starting?
It's all right. Everyone's here doing the same thing. Right? No worries. Thank you. I didn't even notice there's a Aventador or Ultra Ultimate Edition. I actually really like these. These are probably my favorite ever variation of the Aventador. I think the SV and the SVJ are a little too much. There's too much going on in them, especially the SVJ. This one they kept it more simple, but they did the nice exhaust from the SVJ. Uh, but yeah, I kept it like a simple design. Very, very nice, very subtle, but a very nice car. Very cool interior. Oh yeah, so here, 0 out of 112, so 112 will be made. Very nice red interior, same seats as the Aventador. Steering wheels of Aventador, slightly different dash here, a little thinner. It's got the screen kind of like the Huracan Evo in the Centenario. Got a nice little glass roof. Uh, very, very cool. Very cool. Old Countach. so I didn't really have time to go through everything in detail. Uh, there was some car spotting going on with some auctions. Uh, yeah, honestly, there's still cars out. It's not that late, it's like maybe 10 o'clock. But it, honestly, we're all just way too tired to keep spotting right now. We've been literally like walking all day and just in the sun. So we're probably gonna end it for today. Tomorrow is a bit more of a chill day, but we'll definitely go car spotting, shoot some stuff, find some stuff. Uh, and then Sunday is the last day to Pebble Beach and from there we're gonna start our road trip uh, But yeah, that's that's it for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow